Hey guys, Sam here from the Ohio Fisherman. Today I'm going to do a quick little demo and slash review of my new reel. It's the Daiwa Tatula with that really cool uh, T-wing system that they claim lets you cast a lot further. Try to get a good view of that for you guys there. And the rod I'm using is kind of also kind of a unique rod. Uh, it is a Fenwick Methods travel rod. It's a three-piece bait casting rod that uh, comes with. I already did a review of this. Uh, already an overview, not a review on my channel. It comes with four five sections uh, one's the handle and then you get two mid sections this is the mid section and then you get two tip sections and then here's the tip section um, the one I have set up on the rod right now is the medium fast action and the heavy tip and then this is the medium heavy tip and the fast action medium, not, uh, not medium, middle. And uh, the rod is really solid. It does feel like a one piece in your hand when you have it all set up together because it uses these spigot ferrules. This is a spigot ferrule. It's uh, different than your typical setup, but what it might be. And it also comes in this nice carrying bag so there's that anyway back to the reel I have 12 pound test mono on it right now just to put some line on it and then I have a little uh, quarter ounce sinker tied on and I'm gonna be I'm gonna flip it really quick because uh, to show you how effortly this ca the casting is on this on this reel, so um, you should be able to see a couch down there. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna be aiming for that couch down there. down in my basement right now because it's really bad conditions outside so I can't go out and fish with this because you know ice but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to hit my couch from here which is a good I don't know 15 feet maybe from where I'm standing so uh, a little short I stopped it with my thumb because I thought I was there. Let's try that again really quick. Keep in mind this is a uh, heavy ro heavy action power rod flipping a quarter ounce weight with 12 pound mono. So we got past it that time. Got like to the middle of it. Reel that back real quick. Uh, you probably can't see the weight really well but it is, it's getting some good distance. Yeah. Got on the middle of it that time. So, only a quarter ounce hit the ceiling. Whoops. Got a little backlash that time. Nothing bad. I mean, that's just because it hit the ceiling and stopped. But, um, I really like the reel. It's nice and smooth effortless casting uh, you know I bet I would set up if I had this line on my regular reel that I use it definitely wouldn't cast this far with only a quarter ounce weight on this rod a seven seven foot four inch heavy rod uh, and that's just because of that T-wing system that I showed this particular 
reel is a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio and uh, it's got the, these nice oversized grips that I like a lot um, I got this reel for hundred and five dollars on eBay it normally retails for about hundred and fifty I believe the seller was Simone Outdoors or something like that. I don't know. It was a couple weeks ago. I ordered it and uh, I've been holding up for a review for a review because I've been, I posted a couple reviews and I wanted just to have something to post a couple weeks down the road so Yeah, here that's that pretty much real smooth far casting from what I've seen um, When I can get out there when the ice isn't covered covering the lake I'll go out there and use it with this rod too because this is a new new rod that's on the market and it really does I'm really happy with this rod because it does feel like a one piece rod and I really like that so we'll come back here do a little flipping Keep in mind, this is a quarter ounce weight. It's so hard with the ceiling because you're not going to have a ceiling. I got well past the camera that time, but uh, yeah, you're not going to have a ceiling when you're fishing. I hit the ceiling that time. Got a bad backlash that time. All right, so that's that. Pretty much all I can show you guys right now. But uh, I really like the reel. If you want to see an overview, a quick overview, there's plenty of those on YouTube. I want to do, do a quick performance test of the reel because, you know, there's a ton of reviews where they just open up the box and say, here are the features, but then they don't show you anything about the reel. So this is the best I could do for right now. Uh... In a couple months, probably early March, I'll be out bass fishing again. Or maybe even earlier, I might be able to do a review earlier if we go out for pike in like fe late Febu mid February, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, right now, as I'm recording this, the uh, temperature outside is negative 12. So, it's cold, 30, negative 30 degree wind chill. That's not really helpful for fishing. So, uh, yeah, I, this, I hit the ceiling on that last one and it's really bad backlash. I almost got it. This is why I hate mono. All right. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.